Taurus, this is going to be a general reading for you um, and it's going to be a timeless message on what your guides want you to know right now. So if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in the sign of Taurus, these messages are for you, okay? Take what resonates, ignore the rest, and if it does resonate, please take a moment to like this video, uh, share, subscribe, and comment. It really helps with my algorithm. I love you so much. All the information you need on how to book a reading, because I do have a sale happening right now, or how to join Patreon for a free exclusive early access. Mm -hmm. uh, link is in the description box below. Okay, let's get into it, Taurus. Let's get into it. Um, so as many of you may know, I did lose my favorite person in the world earlier this this month. Uh, my grandfather passed away. And you know what? I was just thinking about him heavily before I did this reading. And I realized he is a Taurus moon. So shout out to you guys, especially the Taurus moons watching. I just love that. that that's one of my favorite placements. Um, but yeah, so I was just reflecting, you know, I was helping out my family with um, figuring out like the funeral arrangements and things like that. And I was just really like blown away of um, all the paperwork that is needed when it comes to like death and like just all this stuff, like just all the logistics. So um, Taurus, I feel so you are um, signing a lot of documents. There's a lot of paperwork for you to go through. I feel so you're preparing for something kind of like intense. It could be like a citizenship. You're, you're, figuring, out, you're figuring out some type of visa or maybe some of you guys are just starting a new job and you're just like, you know, filing out the paperwork. But um, something feels a little like... Uh, a, a bit like draining like just something is like just taking a long time um, i'm also getting something is being processed so an application is being processed so I'm, I'm getting processing i see you kind of like looking for updates um online or something on some type of portal and um you're like refreshing the page and it's still uh it's still loading or something like that okay i'm also getting um you said everything you had to say so i see you walking away from a situation um and you have nothing else really left to say maybe someone is reaching out to you you haven't seen them in a while and they want to talk but you just don't really have any other words to express okay let me pick up these two cards oh three cards okay i was gonna pull just two cards for you guys but we got all this we got your hard work is paying off of course it is We've got the answers you need are coming. Um, Aquarius got this card too. So this could be um, pertaining to an Aquarius in your life. Um, if you have Aquarius placements, watch that reading. We have, it's time to release negativity. This is very interesting because this is the uh, Scorpio card and Scorpio is your sister sign, your polar opposite. Okay, so it's time to release negativity. We just had, um, the moon was in Scorpio a few days back. So maybe that triggered some things for you, some type of like, uncomfortable truth some negativity we have luck is on your side so there's emphasis here in needing to look at the glass half full okay i feel so you have to change your perspective about something because you may be feeling really down you're like why did this happen to me you may feel like some type of victim or you're just frustrated that something is like more difficult for you than it may be for other people i don't know but i feel so we have to look at the bright side here luck is still on your side there's still support coming your way um you're going to be happy in the end there is resolution here okay so release any type of like resentment that you are harboring any type of challenges blockages that you may have overcome or that you may have faced okay during this time you're going to overcome them luck is on your side okay continue to visualize pray affirm all these things i feel as though your fate is very important right now like just having faith okay all right let's look at the energy surrounding taurus taurus please what does taurus need to know right now what does taurus need to know right now okay so we got the hermit card we got the two of um two of swords i see you um like late night studying reading you're doing research on something i'm also seeing that you need to make a decision uh you may be needing to make like a pros and cons list but i feel as though you're like reflecting on something you need to make a decision uh this decision could be pertaining to an elder in your life or this virgo or libra in your life okay but i just feel as though you may be feeling a little bit torn but you're taking your time to carefully weigh out your options that's exactly what you should be doing okay more for taurus please more for taurus what does taurus need to know right now please we got the um seven of wands reverse and we got the chariot card okay i'm getting um some type of i'm getting an ambulance bill 
okay something about a fast car i don't know if you need to bring your car to get repaired you may be having car issues okay some of you are trying to get your license more for Taurus, please I'm also getting something about a, a retirement home. So you, you may be thinking about where to place someone in like a home or this could be something about a hospital. You may be visiting someone at a hospital. Okay, we got the lover's card. We got the tower card. We got the three of wands. We got the page of cups. So I'm picking up on distance here, distance between you and your uh, loved one. Uh, this could also be a younger person in your life. This could be a child as well. I feel so there's family that you are missing abroad or family that you're trying to, I'm getting something about a GoFundMe. So I feel so you're trying to bring in resources together for this family member or for this loved one that um, experienced some type of, uh, of crisis. Okay, I, I was picking up on some type of like accident. Okay. Let me see. What is the lover's card reverse, please, for Taurus? What is the lover's card reverse? For some of you, I just see you walking away from this um this relationship. This could have been a long distance relationship. Specifically if you were dealing with a uh, a cancer or Gemini placement. Okay, I'm also seeing you um, moving back home or trying to get back to your hometown or your motherland. Like it really feels as though someone is abroad and there's just distance here. If it's not physical distance and it's some type of emotional distance, I'm seeing someone could be experiencing some type of um, like mental breakdown or some type of health crisis. And this does could pertain also to uh, mental health. Okay, so check up on, on your loved ones. Okay, I feel so or this could be you. But I feel as though the worst has already happened, okay? You're going to bounce back from this, Taurus. I don't know what, like, what you're experiencing right now, um, but I feel as though we have to really keep in mind that like the best is yet to come. The thing is, you've already reached rock bottom. You've already reached, like, things are things cannot get any worse, okay? So it's only up from here. I also see you making the conscious decision to... I don't know. I feel as though you are, like you are responsible to make this decision for this elderly person or for this younger person okay but you're gonna make the right decision oh my goodness taurus what a heavy reading okay more for taurus please okay what is the three of wands reverse please what is the three of wands for taurus what is the three of wands for taurus okay what is the three of wands please for taurus Okay, we got the Knight of Wands. I'm getting something about like a young boy. Okay, this could also be a fire sign, of course. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, okay. Okay, so I'm getting some type of like apartment. It doesn't feel like the fanciest apartment. I don't know if you're trying to like get the funds to like move out or this is, you're trying to get the funds to move into this place. Okay, I'm getting something, something something kind of feels like um you're not making that much money or um you know you're doing like a side job a side gig it's not paying that much okay this could also be some type of like creative endeavor yeah a lot of you are enrolled in school or you have like a full-time job uh, a corporate job or like a nine to five job okay i feel so you um you have a contract signed here okay so something does require your focus your determination um your commitment you have a commitment here but i see you kind of like branching out and trying to make more money there's also an idea here that will come to you very soon or there's this there's an air sign specifically an aquarius or a gemini that comes to you with some type of proposal some type of proposition okay this could be pertaining to marriage um but this could also be like a business um a business opportunity this could also pertain to some type of like church or some type of like spiritual group there's like a sense of community here okay so this could be again again like charity work community service something like that um, someone that you went to school with or someone that you've worked alongside of for a long time they're coming to you with an idea an investment okay so let's see we got the ace of swords yeah so i'm feeling as though um 
I, I'm also getting, you're going to find something online, Taurus, that is going to sound too good to be true, but it, it might just work for you. Like, I feel as though you shoot your shot somehow, okay? So I don't know if you're trying to get to know someone. There could be like a Capricorn you're trying to talk to or this Pisces you're trying to talk to. Despite the distance, they likely will be open to like a relationship, you know, type thing. But I feel as though there's something about a link, so a link... Uh, something online seems really sketchy to you, but you you follow through with it anyways, and it works out. I'm also getting there's something very unique about your work, about your craft, about your personality. Okay, people want you, people are hiring you, people are drawn to you because of the work that you do, because you are you. So I don't care if you are in some type of like competitive field or you're thinking about entering something, a field that is overly saturated. People are going to be supporting you because you are unique. That doesn't mean that you're not going to have to like really stand out and like you know like put yourself out there and um put you know like because Taurus you. You have a you have a tendency of getting comfortable and just really 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 taking your time and so i'm not saying you're gonna have to you're not gonna have to like chill and you're not gonna have to like actually apply yourself and like just go hard like yes do go hard do apply pressure but i feel so you're going to get um support here i'm getting again like i'm getting a business deal i'm feeling as though you're signing a contract um this could be some type of license that you're gonna get um, i'm also seeing someone is a corporation is taking you under their wing so i don't know if you're gonna be an intern or if you're joining some type of like agency okay yeah so some of you could be like in the public eye or in the entertainment industry okay so i feel as though you're um you're living somewhere where you don't really want to be living right now because you're saving money for uh your job you know you're really hustling okay <laughs> that was a lot that was a lot that was a lot that was a lot let me let me get some um some angel messages for you taurus because i was just but release the negativity i feel so you really have to like let go of the past and like let go of like the the just all this this is draining for you to hold on to it's pulling you down like forget about your ex like forget about this person that cheated on you forget about the people that have done you wrong like yes you have a lot to prove Taurus but you're doing that effortlessly luck is on your side blessings are coming in um, especially like around Sagittarius season, there's something really significant about like November is what I'm getting. Yeah, like November, December, like that time, like that could be the time that you are really uh, experiencing progress when it comes to like your living situation or your career, okay? I know you're thinking that's a long time, but like, I don't know, Taurus, you're going to figure it out. Let me get some... Um, Angel messages, please, for Taurus. Angel messages for Taurus, please. We've got Pacific Resolution. Yeah, so everyone's coming back together. There's going to be harmony, hope, and faith is going to be restored. I feel so you're going to have this conversation with this person. You're going to be able to work through any type of misunderstandings. I'm also getting pettiness, microaggression. This is going to be sorted, okay? So, like, justice will be served, or you're just going to have to, like, talk it out with someone or battle it out. I don't know. I'm thinking about a rap battle like i'm just thinking about a way that you can like creatively creatively i can't talk creatively put your differences aside <laughs> i don't know you have this very like quirky unique energy towards that i think not not many people can see like that side of you but like you just have like the funniest humor um people just don't expect you to be the way that you are and it's like such a fun surprise for the people that like actually try to get to know you and like get to see you all the time <laughs> even though you don't want to be seen like that let me see more for Taurus please angel message for Taurus please I'm getting a number eight number five emphasis also on um April so this could be April 5th April 8th or the 4th of April significant dates I'm also getting three weeks and five days I, a lot of you are working like nine to fives a lot of you are working like five days a week you're drained because you want to do something else with your time you want to do something more creative we got compromise yeah you're gonna have to talk it out with someone reach some type of compromise this could be pertaining to a family member as well especially if you have like siblings or cousins that you have to like deal with or talk to we have choose a new direction we have in the near future 
Ask your angels, listen to your intuition. Okay, so your angels, they want to help and support you, but they cannot intervene, Taurus, unless you ask them for help. So ask them for anything you need. Do you need strength? Do you need courage? Do you need money? <laughs> do you need more determination? Like, what do you need? They, they will come through for you. Listen to your intuition. Think it over. So yeah, there's something here that you need to think this over. Someone, again, some for, someone is coming to you with information, some type of deal, some type of proposal. You need to think it over because I feel as though you may be presented with something, an opportunity, and it may not be, um, like, you may not have the benefits that you think you're going to have. So it's really important to find, like, some type of level ground. Voc be vocal about your expectations. Be vocal about... Um, you're 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 because you're qualified for something Taurus, and i feel so someone may try to like lowball you okay so be like don't play with me be very assertive but respectful taurus we've got the ideal moment and we have not very likely okay so everything that did not work out thus far everything that wasn't really like likely to work out in your favor you're going to find the ideal moment for this but this is only going to happen once you've released any type of negativity self-limiting beliefs like all that stuff okay all that stuff let me just get some um some last minute messages please for taurus please take a moment to like share subscribe yeah a lot of you are walking away from love um and it's if it's been a while that you have dated and you've had like a lot of like dead ends when it comes to relationships you guys really could be meeting someone i feel so this person is coming to you they're going to uh initiate a conversation with you uh i'm getting like pisces and um and or sagittarius energy from this person but you guys are going to be like laid up on the phone talking all the time and this likely could be a long distance relationship again especially if you've already dated someone long distance okay we got patience of course you already you got enough of that <laughs> you got enough patience towards but i think that you needed a reminder that everything is going to work out and that luck is on your side more for taurus please more for taurus please i'm also getting something about the bird so if you're seeing like a bird it's going to especially a white bird or a blue bird it's a sign of like patience or it's a sign of resilience look up the meaning of like the type of bird that you see like look up like spiritual meaning let's say you see a blue jay look up spiritual uh meaning of a blue jay you may be seeing birds in your dreams also or something makes you think of a bird more for taurus please more for taurus oh fulfillment scorpio got this card so watch the scorpio reading you've got scorpio placements fulfillment you're gonna get everything you want forgiveness <sighs> yeah remember that compromise remember that com that communication coming in this could be someone from the past or just someone that you you're really stubborn taurus <laughs> But you need to forgive this person, whether you have a talk with them or you just decide to move on and release, you know, just for yourself because you deserve to not harbor so much like hatred and like, you know, bad vibes. Okay, we got protection. We got focus. So, yeah, focus on your vision. Honor your vision. Okay, because your vision is protected. You are protected. So remain focused. Don't be don't be don't get caught up in all this. Don't get caught up in all of it. Nope. Pleasure. I'm also getting, you're saving up for something, especially if it pertains to your home, okay? You may have been struggling financially. You're going to be able to afford it, okay? Treat yourself. I'm getting something about luxury. Look at this, abundance. Look at that. Openness, okay? So again, being open to receiving. Now, if you are clingy, if you are doubting yourself, if you are holding and hoarding things, it's not really promoting flexibility and fluidity is that a word fluidity <laughs> but we need to be open okay especially when it comes to our finances like just don't be so stingy i'm not telling you to spend all your money but when you're paying off bills pay them with gratitude you have the money to afford your lifestyle you have the money to be able to afford uh you looking after yourself more services like things like that just you know and then we got freedom yeah freedom is coming <laughs> you're freed from this relationship you're freed from these broke people <laughs> you're freed from just anything that you felt was holding you back allow yourself to release and become one with the universe just open just be open-minded Taurus 
I'm gonna let you go. I love you. Please like this video. Talk to you soon. Bye.